Welcome to Preform Line Products. The following presentation illustrates the recommended application of PLP's Fiberline Dead End U Bolt Type for optical ground wire applications. Installation may vary per application. Nomenclature Unpack the product and verify that all components are present and correspond with the cable size to be installed. Components included U Bolt Dead End with Spacer Bar, Retaining Rods, Dead End Housing. Wedge. Step 1. Install wedge. Place the wedge halves over the OPGW at the predetermined location. Be sure the wide end of the wedge faces toward the structure or mounting location. Place a piece of tape in a single layer over the wedge to hold it in place for the remainder of the installation. Step 2. Install rods. Apply the subset with the most rods first, allowing for approximately one quarter inch of the rods to extend out from the back or wide end of the wedge. Install the remaining subsets. Continue wrapping dead end legs to completion. Separating the rod ends will make this process easier. It is normal to have one to three open slots in the wedge. Check for quarter inch clearance out of the back of the wedge. Step 3. Install U-bolt housing. With the spacer bar in position near the loop area of the U-bolt, bring the dead end with the open side of the housing up to the cable. Slide the housing over the retaining rods and wedge until seated firmly. From the factory, the U-bolt thread should extend approximately 1.5 inches from the housing. Adjust take-up nuts as needed up to 4 inches, allowing for bend radius clearance for the OPGW. Once complete, install the lock nuts. Note. Once the dead end is attached to the structure, transfer the load to the U-bolt dead end from the cable holding device. Once these steps are complete, a ground wire can be installed if required. This completes the application of the Fiberline U-bolt dead end. This featured preformed product is manufactured in the United States and is backed by the experience and field support that PLP has been noted for since 1947. All safety guidelines set forth in the appropriate application procedure for this product must be reviewed and followed prior to installing this product. The installation shown is intended to illustrate the application method of the product only. It is not intended to supersede any standard utility safety guidelines and practices or use of required protective equipment.